Alright guys, wasn't even really planning on coming out today and doing a video. Happened to have my detector in the car, took a ride, I said, well, if I see someplace, I'll stop. I saw this place, it's on the old map, right next to the highway. And uh, since I've been here, I just started, uh, you're going to hear some traffic noise, and apologize for that, but I just started and already I've picked up this, which... I believe it's gonna be like for a, a handsaw or something. It says Taylor and Sons. I'll get it cleaned up and get a better uh, get a better picture. See what that says, but I want to keep going because it's uh, getting close to dark. I, I found that. I found a wheat penny and I found this spoon so far. So it's kind of ornate, but the house shows up on the 1800s map, so probably later 1800s here, but. All right, I'm going to keep going. We'll see what happens. See you on the next. All right, guys, next hole. I just flipped the plug, and that's what I see. It's kind of shallow, but that's going to be a silver dime all day. It's a rosy. Check that out. Looks like 19... Oh, I don't have my glasses. 46, maybe? But you know what? I'll take it. It's been a little while since uh, I found a silver coin. I've been on a trout. So, uh, Aaron has gone on vacation, and I believe you're going to see some footage from his vacation. Uh, if he took enough. Because he did go and uh, knock on some doors while he was on vacation. Which, hey, that's what you got to do. But, alright, I'm going to keep going. Because, like I said, sun's going down see it over there so i'm gonna keep going but hey man i'll take this silver all, all day like i said i've been i've been in a drought so all right see you on the next all right guys so i'm just gonna do a quick trunk side wrap up all in all got like 10 wheat pennies I did get the Roosevelt dime, silver rosy, so I'm happy about that. Kind of broke my silver uh, slump that I was in for the last two or three weeks. I got this cool, uh, I'm pretty sure this is like for a handsaw medallion or something. Again, I'm just doing this real quick. Uh, it's getting dark and I'm just doing this at the car, but I will clean these up and uh, show you some pictures of everything from here, which, you know, wasn't a lot. I got... The, uh, the medallion, the 10 wheats, that silver, some clad, and cool old spoon, which I'll clean it up and you'll see the, uh, there's some cool designs on it, but, I mean, not too bad. The house does show up on the 1800s map. I think there's some topsoil on this because everything was, I don't know, in four or five inches, but it, it was just wheat pennies. I mean, I didn't find anything older than, you know, what I would expect to find during that time period, and there was also some uh coal ash fill going over the top uh over the bank over there towards the road so hey at any rate i got out for a couple hours and got a hunt in uh just a little something by myself and um you know had a good time so any day that you get silver it's a good day but all right we'll see you on the next hunt there'll be more take care guys All right, guys, we're out on a new day, a new hunt. We are out in a cow pasture we got permission on. We love cow pastures. We love cow pastures because they treat us so well. But Aaron just called me over. He dug a button before, but he popped the hole, and that looks like a copper sitting there. Yeah. Doesn't it? Well, looks, looks good to me. I'll There's a, a dot on the old map for here. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. May have a hole in it. Oh, it is hold. Looks like it's a hold or severely 
Uh -huh. Severely injured. <laughs> Yeah, it might take a minute to clean this off. All right, off. yeah, let me uh, let me get back to you. Aaron's going to clean it off, and we will be right back. All right, we got it cleaned up. We could see there was two holes in it, uh, but we got no positive identification on it yet. It's just pretty, pretty toasted up out here, so. But if we find out what it is, we'll throw a picture up, at least uh, see if we can ID it. But it's not looking too good right now, <laughs> so... All right, we'll see you on the next. All right, guys, my turn for a find. Came over on this signal and got a flat button. Gonna have the shank on it, it has some writing on it on the back there. It's gonna be like that 1820s, 1840s button. And Aaron did find one before that we didn't record. I'll show you in the wrap-up before he found that uh, copper. Um, hopefully we can get an idea off of that and be able to see what it was. But, well, we know the house was here, so it's a good sign. So, all right, we're going to keep going. See you on the next. All right, Aaron just called me over. Not too long after I got that button, I heard the signal he got on. It was a nice signal, and it looks like he's got another copper. Let's see if this one's in better shape. It looks like it is, huh? I see the one set on the back. There's okay. One set. Well, that's good. Well, if we can see a bus and find out what flavor it is. She's pointing to the left. Okay. I don't know if we'll get a date on there, but there she is. You can touch it. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Let's see here. I don't know about a date, but it looks... It's not a braided hair. Oops, sorry about the focus there. My phone doesn't want to cooperate. Oh. They call that a matron head? A coronet head? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I don't know, and I sound really stupid, but it's not a braided hair, so it's a, a mid-range one. But, all right, awesome job, dude. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, we'll throw that in his finds box and keep on swinging. Got a little bit of time before it gets dark, so hopefully there's more. See you on the next. All right, back again. Aaron just found a copper about mm, five minutes ago. And I heard this signal too again, and look what he's got in his hand again. Just found another copper. I think Which, he's going to bench me. Yeah, you're getting benched. All right, it says now, one cent on the back. Okay. The U.S. copper. Kind of clay stuck to it, huh? Yeah. Looks like the same type as the one you just dug. She's facing to the left. Yeah, it looks like the same. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to pull a date, but hey, it's another largey. I'll take it. Good job. Three on the day. I know, right? Angelo's going to bench. That's me. like three on the half hour, actually. <laughs> and there was also a piece of pottery in that hole, so. We know we're on the house site, but he's lining up the coppers, baby. All right. Well, that's what we came for, so hopefully there's more. We'll see you on the next. All right, guys, we just finished up in the field, uh, at least the amount that we wanted to do today. It's a little bit grown up in there, but there's patches where you could swing. So anyway, we're thinking about coming back to this one in the fall, but just a quick trunk side wrap up, tailgate wrap up. Aaron found those three coppers. We might be able to get a date off of that middle one. And of course there was that one that was pretty trash, got two holes in it. And it's, it's pretty beat up. 
Aaron also found two flat buttons, one with the shank and one without the shank. And we're not sure what this is. This might be like a piece of a, uh, either a pocket knife or maybe a utensil. Um, it's a big piece of copper or brass. Got a nice green patina on it. And he found that this big hunk of lead. It looks like it's pretty old because it's, you see the patina. It looks like it's something that's folded over. Mm -hmm. So could have been some kind of a tag or something or a piece of camp lead or something. And I found one button with the shank on there and a little bit of writing on it. So, all right, that's what we did in this field. Uh, definitely something to come back to uh, when we have a chance, maybe when the weather breaks and the fall gets here and things start dying off. But we're going to go try to get on another one. We don't have a lot of daylight left, so hopefully we get on something else, and we'll see you on the next hunt. All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick uh, tailgate wrap-up. We did stop in another place, and uh, we didn't take any clips uh, while we were there. But Aaron did find a few cool things there. I found one flat button with a broken shank. But uh, Aaron got this. It might be a little hard to see, but it's a, a saw, a handsaw medallion. Um, and he got these two suspender buckles. There you go. Maybe that'll help, Aaron. A little bit extra light. It's it's dark. Do we remember what the uh, the handsaw medallion said? Ibit. Ibits or something like that. Brothers or something like that. Ibits or Ibits Brothers. Eagle Factory. Yeah. Eagle Works or something like that. I'm going to throw a picture of this stuff up. Uh, once Aaron gets it cleaned up, he'll send me a picture. But he got a spoon bowl. He got this cool decorative horse buckle. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's like a shield buckle. It's the first one I've seen. I've seen other people find them, but I've never, I never dug one. So that's pretty cool. So along with the other stuff that we found today, uh, Aaron got those coppers in that uh, one cow pasture we we got on. But uh, I just wanted to show you this stuff, and I'll throw some pictures of it up because we, like I said, we didn't take any clips of it um, while we were there. But all in all, today, I mean, we made up for it with the. Uh, finding the coppers but it was kind of a slow day but you know you're gonna have that sometimes so all right we'll see you on the next hunt all right guys that's the last couple of hunts that we did um as you saw aaron pulling out those uh three coppers within a half an hour in that cow pasture that was that was fun and I finally got a silver coin after about two weeks or so of not digging one but um, you know it's fun couple of hunts not a whole heck of a lot but made some really decent finds um, make sure you stay tuned for next week next next video that we put out uh, we got on a really good yard so that's gonna be in the next upload but we found some really cool stuff but uh, anyway thanks for watching uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button for me, and uh, spread the video out. You know, if um, if you guys have, have Facebook pages or anything like that, we we're really trying to grow our channel. We have the subscribers um, to do the YouTube monetization, but we don't have the watch hours. And really, we're not looking to get rich or anything. We do this because we enjoy it. Um, it's just. A passion of ours but if we get the videos monetized if we can get the channel monetized we can kind of help cut down a little bit on the gas costs um, we're traveling so much on the days that we do go um, and it's it's getting to be very difficult so if you can share that video get those watch hours up for us tell your friends uh, if you enjoy what we do share the video let other people see what we do so anyway appreciate it Hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you. And stay safe. We'll see you on the next hunt.